the Charlotte Hornets are riding a four-game losing skid and coming up against the five-game winning streak Toronto Raptors in a big battle in the Eastern Conference. The Raptors coming off five straight wins like I just mentioned. Wins coming against Miami twice, Chicago once, and Atlanta twice as well. That is the Atlanta Hawks who are surging as well, personally, I think, um, playing some really good basketball. You can easily see them... I can easily see them finishing and contending with where the Hornets are at the moment. And the wins against Miami are really good. You know, we saw the defense of Miami against the Hornets and really locked us down. We only scored 86 points. Um, We played Toronto not long ago as well. We lost 125 to 113 in a game we really should have won with the talent that they had out, I felt. Um, But yeah, in this game, it's surprising to me, right? It's at the Spectrum Center, but... Um, in terms of odds, um, you've got the Hornets and Raptors at about the same odds, which I, which I'm surprised by. Um, the ESPN um, matchup predicted they got the Charlotte Hornets at 61.8 percent to win this game. Really surprising to me. The Hornets have lost four in a row. Raptors have won five in a row. Um, yeah, that's really shocking to me. Hornets still got Jalen McDaniel's out for this game. Um, but yeah, Hawk. Um, not the Hawks. Um, the Raptors coming off a win against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, this game was a pretty close one, except for the third quarter and the first. Really, I mean, there was like three quarters, one by ten points. I mean, Toronto won the first by ten, um, eleven. Atlanta won the second by ten, and then. Toronto won the third by nine, and then the third, and then the fourth was decided by one point. Um, yeah, the Hawks, um, you know, didn't win this one. The Hawks were playing some really good basketball. They're still two games below five hundred. Um, but yeah, in this game, we had Pascal Siakam score thirty three points. He is certainly someone the Hornets need to watch out for. Had a really good game the first time out. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, all star player. Head of Lamelo Ball. Lamelo with a point to prove here, though. You know, matching up against Fred Van, Fred Van Vliet. You got Gary Trent Jr. Absolute f- on fire recently. I expect to see Gary Trent Jr. rain down some threes against the Hornets. It, re- it hurts to see, but expect it to happen. Um, you know, you got Chris Boucher, Precious Chew off the bench. You've also got Champini there, the same guy that got PJ Washington ejected. So. Uh, be careful about that one. Um, that was a real turning point in that Raptors Hornets game the first time out. So yeah, Raptors really hot team at the moment. Um, got All Star Fred Van Vliet. So should be interesting to see. Um, the Bulls game that went to overtime and the Raptors won. Um, yet again Pascal Siakam he had twenty five points. So yeah, really proving that he's someone to watch out for. But it was a really spread round game. All starters had over 16 points. Gary Trent Jr. was 16. Van Fleet, 21. Scotty Barnes, 21. And OG Ananobi with 21 as well. So this is a really good Raptors team. Um, I've said it for a while now. I think this is a really good Raptors team. This series is huge between the Hornets and Raptors. And it's going to have huge ramifications on where the Hornets finish up. So the Hornets hopefully taking this game really seriously. And I think they will. Um, but yeah, Hornets really need a win, really do, you know, positive for this game, we got Ashley Sharmody, Hornets sideline reporter back, so maybe some good luck, Hornets can catch a dub in the Spectrum Center, let me know what you think about this game, and how you think it will go down in the comments below, um, thank you for listening, watching, I'll be back with you tomorrow for another Charlotte Hornets match review.